Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for April 6th, Friday, April 6th. This is for all signs. What do we have for Friday, April 6th? <sighs> I will be interested to know. It's about waiting for something. You've been waiting for something to happen. Waiting for something to grow. Maybe you've been working on it. Manifesting it or growing it, whatever it is, you've been waiting for it. Hmm. So there is some sort of release here. And you know, this could have something to do with um, lost okay this could also have to do with um, some kind of karmic test of some sort okay because I consider the devil a karma card and in many cases I consider the knight of pentacles a test so you know you could be dealing with some sort of karmic issue today Maybe you're letting something go that had been holding you back and you were waiting for the right moment, perhaps. Maybe you're accepting an offer from somebody. Seeing the light coming out of the darkness. This could, you got, you know, you could be going to extremes here. This could be an extreme um, change, okay? That happens all of a sudden. You make this decision that is extremely different than you have been making in the past. Maybe you have this shift that comes quite suddenly um, that pushes you in a different direction. Yeah, there is some rapid movement, okay? Something is happening very suddenly. And it could be that you receive some sort of offer that you can't turn down, okay? And this just, just changes everything for you, okay? I feel as though there is some sort of... It's almost like there's a realignment, you know what I mean? There's some sort of acceptance of a new offer that allows you to remove yourself from a difficult situation that you have been stuck in. And you've been, you've been wanting to do, do this, but perhaps you've been waiting for the right moment. And today could be the day that you move forward all right you stop stalling somebody has been stalling all right and it feels like today could be the day that you just you can't deny it anymore this you know there's this energy that is undeniable yeah i feel like many of you are about to take a risk all right you may still be a little untrusting, though. You may be a little untrusting, but it feels like you may decide to just be impulsive and take a risk and turn your back on the past, turn your back on worry and insecurities, 
and you know do something against your better judgment <laughs> you know it's like yeah you're probably very weary about this uh, decision that you are about to make but you are probably you know it looks like you're gonna do it anyway It feels like you guys are actually ready to turn your back on the past and move forward and and take a serious risk and not bring the past with you, okay? I feel like you guys may be finally accepting an offer from someone. <laughs> maybe you're deciding that you don't want to be single anymore you've taken the time to recuperate you've taken the time to rest and to contemplate and to figure things out and now you're ready that's what it looks like to me Yeah, you're still weary though. You're wondering if this person that you're dealing with that is coming in hot and heavy has hidden agendas. You are. You're still worried about it. It's like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you are hiding something. I'm not sure what's up. But I'm willing to give it a shot. And it feels as though, you know, there's a, there's a lack of trust here. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who is aggressively pursuing you and for some reason you just feel like you can't keep saying no. I feel like you are very undecisive about this. I feel like there's a strong pull to move a pull to move forward, a strong connection. And you are being called to make a, make a decision. And I see that there's indecision here because on one hand, you're ready. You're ready. You've been waiting for this. But on the other hand, you're wondering, does this person have hidden agendas? Can I trust them? What's this going to lead to? Um, are they going to turn their back to me, you know, once I do go with them? You know, that kind of thing. I think there's some extremes here. There's a lot of... Um, back and forth things are not harmonious there is there's a lot of back and forth in your mind many of you want to be single but you don't so it's it's kind of interesting there's definitely some extremes here all right there's like opposition and so i feel like you are receiving some sort of offer that is very intriguing and you may accept it or you may not. I think it's, it's wishy-washy. It's back and forth. So, I'm going to get a couple more cards. I want to, I mean, this is very interesting. Okay, I feel like there is is some sort of, also there's an addiction here, an obsession. Maybe somebody is uh, obsessed with you. Or you're obsessed with them, um, and you're you're unsure of the whole situation. It's like, hmm, I want this, I do want this, but if I let this person in, what are their motives? Are they out to hurt me? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like you are feeling very insecure and unstable about your decisions today. What do I do? What do I do? Do I follow this passion that is burning inside of me? Or do I take the practical approach and hide myself? I feel like, you know, there could be, so there's definitely some mild conflicts here. There could be some difficulty in communications. You could be dealing with somebody who is a big talker. 
Okay, somebody that is might be a little bit younger than you. And this person may be a little bit harsh. Okay, so that may be a red flag for you. Maybe this person gives out some insults and doesn't realize what they're doing. Okay, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is... Um, They probably say things that they shouldn't and that might rub you the wrong way, but they're very attractive. So they do have a lot of good qualities, but their mouth might get them in trouble. Okay, so we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Capricorn here. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Sagittarius here. Um, we have Pisces. I feel as though, you know, the main characters here are probably Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's what I think could be Sagittarius as well, Aries and Leo. But anyway, um, I feel as though, you know, you have it. It's a day of indecision. Is this what you want? Are you ready to break free? Is this what you've really been waiting for? I think this is a day where there is some sort of decision that needs to be made, whether you, you know, do it or not. <clears throat> it's almost like, I mean, do you want to be single or do you want to accept an offer with these right here? Let me make sure this is zoomed in. <laughs> And that's that's a big deal here today. I think that many of you, I mean, or do you want to do you want to be with someone else? I think that for many of you, you are receiving some sort of offer, and you're quite unsure about it. And this is, I just shuffled and put the deck down to zoom the camera in, and this is what's here. There's passion. There's passion. Do you accept it or not? That's the question today. It's a damn good question, too. Um, hmm. I feel like you're being called to take a risk. You are. That fool card says take a risk. Take a risk. What could it hurt? What could it hurt? What's the worst that could happen? I'm sure there's stuff that could happen. But it is time to turn your back on the past, right? It is. Why hold on? <sighs> you have fears that you could be dealing with somebody who is full of shit. Alright, I'm just going to pick one because I'm not looking. So here it is. Oh, goodness opportunity amazing right I'm wondering about this are you is this the opportunity that you've been waiting for is it <laughs> oh my god release your ties to the past when you let go of the old you make room for the new and this is exactly what I was saying about letting go of the past. So I think your answer is to go for it. Do it. Accept the new opportunity, even if you are scared to death. Talk to you later.